As you see, KBR have been deeply involved in energy transition for quite some time, going through a number of transitions from coal to LNG and onward to hydrogen and of course, ammonia. The video you have just seen ends quite poignantly on some of the work we've been involved with in this energy transition space across APAC and the globe, as well as the ammonia arena, along with government to government strategies on energy transition and the emerging hydrogen economies. As a business, we have a significant presence in ammonia technology and with our government solutions business line, we have a long history with NASA in the use, processing and storage of hydrogen as a fuel and energy vector, possibly giving us some of the best hydrogen safety case expertise in the world. One current piece of work being conducted by KBR Advisory Consulting that has been well publicised, being developed from a global and APAC specific basis with a strong focus on Southeast Asia, is the work we're undertaking across Singapore. The project, a highly strategic review of energy transition through to 2050, is conducted across multiple phases. The first phase, a materials and data analysis, and the second, an in-depth and highly exploratory stakeholder engagement programme with well over 100 Singaporean and international stakeholders from all aspects of the hydrogen supply chain, taking the form of both one-to-one -one interviews and of course multiple full-day workshops. Singapore aims to peak its absolute emissions at 65 megatons of CO2 around 2030, which represents a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions intensity by 36% below that of 2005 levels. In February 2020, Singapore announced its long-term Low Emissions Development Strategy, or LEDs. That is, to halve its peak emissions from 65 megatons of CO2 to about 33 by 2050, with a long-term view to get towards net zero emissions as soon as viable and possibly in the second half of the century. To meet this LEDs target, one possible pathway being examined is to use emerging energy sources to diversify Singapore's fuel mix and decarbonise all sectors of the economy. As a clean fuel, low carbon energy carriers and a means of storing energy, hydrogen and of course ammonia could play a key complementary role to fossil fuels in Singapore. Additionally, it provides an opportunity for Singapore to develop new export technologies to promote the clean energy market regionally and of course globally. And moreover, as a trading nation, the use of new energies and new feedstocks are clearly an important factor to future economic success of Singapore. On a more granular basis, what does this mean? As depicted here, a review of multiple import opportunities globally and associated development projects to feed through to multiple energy vectors including ammonia, in differing logistics of transportation and conversion back to hydrogen energy sources, if applicable, and consequently storage, distribution, and ultimately the use of those energy vectors, moving across this slide from left to right. The drivers and the analysis across this being the assessment of time, the necessity of new infrastructure, of course the cost, and the R&D needs and the policy framework and associated regulatory environment required for a successful implementation, all of which forms part of the study. The work continues and is due to be completed later this quarter. As an advisory business, we're also involved in many other energy transition master planning studies, technology appraisals, feasibility studies, and lenders technical and bankable study work. I believe this is a great time to be involved in the energy transition and, moreover, as KBR, with a wealth of ammonia technology and hydrogen experience, a great platform to drive blue and green, any other colour of ammonia if you like, as a viable energy vector. It's been a pleasure presenting this to you. Should you have any questions, please do feel free to contact me directly. Thank you.